Brian Nelly, today is the most special day you're gonna ever experience. Because it's unlike any other day. Because here in the presence of family and friends, you're entering into a covenant before God, with God, and with each other, which is the covenant of marriage. Allie, you've prayed. You've even written hundreds of letters to God since you were 13 years old, asking Him to send you the man you're to marry. And you've kept those letters in a shoebox. Then when you outgrew the shoebox, you bought a treasure box. <laughs> <laughs> with the hope of being able to give those letters to the man that God has chosen for you. Brian, you've said many times to me, and I've heard you say it many times to Allie, how much you love her. And that you thank God that He's given you such a beautiful treasure to spend the rest of your lives with. And I'm confident that both of you want heaven in your home. Wow. <laughs> you look beautiful. Mm. I brought to you, Allie, to be my wife, to have and to hold this day forward for better, for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. I, Allie, take you, Brian, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. Well, Brian and Allie, because your love is built on the guidelines and the commitments of the Word of God, and because you have made public your commitments to Christ, and, and to each other in building a home to mirror Christ's love for the church. It's my honor. And it's my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Bryant, you may kiss your bride. Mm. Woo. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Bryant Ward. <laughs> Bryant, I cannot believe today is here. I have prayed to find you my whole life. Today I become your wife and will spend the rest of my days with you. I know today will feel magical and it will be everything I dreamed of, but today also starts a lifetime of growing together and growing in Jesus to be the best that we can be. I've prayed for my future husband since I was 13 years old, and I know that every single prayer was for you. Your 
Valley. You're the most selfless, stubborn woman with the kindest heart, full of the love of God and a true treasure from the Lord. A woman that illustrates Proverbs 31 and walks in the light of Christ. And as I've gotten to know you more and more, I can see why everyone thinks so highly of you.